are you the type of person who refuses to make your authentic Jamaican rice and peas without using your dried red kidney beans or going the traditional route of using your grated coconut milk? Well, in today's episode, I'll be sharing with you how to make quick and easy Jama authentic Jamaican rice and peas with a little help from this supermarket without compromising taste using tinned red kidney beans and some coconut milk powder or if you have tinned coconut milk you can use that as well coming up on yardy styles cooking. hi guys today we're making some quick and easy rice and peas using tinned red peas coconut milk powder all right so we have it i'm gonna be adding some coconut oil so we're allowing that to eat up and then we will start dropping some onion as usual I'm going to start with it and then I'm going to release the flavor then, release the flavor, to get it, um, you know, meat and the meat. Alright, so we're going to run this for about um, a minute, minute and a half, to get the soup and the flavor. Alright, I'm going to do this on low flame, but we don't want them to burn before the flavor is released. We don't want it bitter, we need to get the soup and the flavor. So it has now been about a minute. So we'll add some chopped garlic here. We're going to drop the chopped garlic down in there. And as soon as that hit the pot there. Mm. Drop this a fresh ginger there. Drop it down there. We got the pork. We'll add in some scallions. Pepper. Cinnamon leaf, thyme, and some crushed pimento. Man, the cinnamon with the king here. Ooh, smell. Smells so good. Alright, so we're going to start with it. Put the water on off. So I'll drop it down in there. I know I can't raise the temperature for another thing there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to leave that a bit down on the tin. So I'm going to show you how to do the other one and the same thing. Liquid and all. I'm going to leave a bit down in there. Give this a quick stir. Remember we raise back the temperature because we had a lot of things in there. Alright, we got one simmer a little bit while we got this up. Yeah man, so the piece I have leave back, I'm going to crush it with, with a fork here. What this is going to do now, this is going to add some colour. Because I think people, um, you know, they are afraid, especially Jamaicans, afraid to use a tin piece, so they say they're not getting the red look. but. With this now, let's crush it so we can get the get out some of the redness and so forth over the piece. Alright, let's crush it like that. Mm -hmm. So once we get it crushed, we'll just put it down in there. It's a quick stir. Man, smells so good. You hear now? Coconut milk powder to a cup of water, warm water. And let's wrap it down in there. Same thing. Rinse out, rinse out this out of water. Same thing with our tin. 
Bring it out to there, you get the red color down in there. So in this now, I have about four cups of liquid. And two to put some. So I'm having about a cup and a half now. So I have about five and a half cups of liquid. I'm having about two teaspoons of salt. Green seasoning. Pepper sugar. Just to bring out the taste of the um, coconut. And about a teaspoon of my pepper and spice. I make all the flavors and come together before I taste it. And then co cover it and allow the flavors to come together. And then we taste it and adjust it. Adjust it accordingly. I'm now ready to test it. That's been about 10 minutes now. Nothing more. That's why I, you say, I, I said um, let me allow it to develop the flavors before I taste it because sometimes you taste it before and it needs nothing but it tastes as if it needs something and then you add it and then you have to put a one thing in there. So, yeah, man, so I'm, I'm not getting ready to add the rice. I'm gonna rinse my rice and then so I'm not ready to add the rice. So look at that guys, I can't tell me, you can't tell me nothing that um, I use that thing these days. Alright. So remember I had about um, five and a half cups of liquid in there. So I'm now adding about four cups of rice. I'm going to allow this to come to a boil and allow majority of the water to absorb and then I turn down the stove to low and steam it for about another 20 minutes or so until the rice is tender. Alright, so very good. Alright guys, so majority of the water has been absorbed. So I'm going to turn this down now and allow it to steam for another 20 minutes and then Cover it back and all of that steam there just has a release of the flavor out of the onion in there. Alright, so that's it. I'm going to dish it up and then come back and show you what it looks like, guys. Alright, stay tuned. So here you have it, guys. My quick and easy rice and peas using tinned red kidney beans without sacrificing taste, flavor, or texture. Here I have it served with my roasted vegetable pasta and brown stew fish. Brown stew fish video coming up soon, guys. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. 
See you on my next video.